Okay, for this week's retro review for the original series, I watched the Omega Glory, so you don't have to. You're welcome. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd, and uh, if you ever wanted to take a break on watching an episode of Star Trek, this might be the one to do. It starts out okay. Uh, the uh, USS Exeter is in orbit around Omega-4, and uh, they're not having any contact from it. There's no distress signals, but uh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of radio traffic going on. And so they move in to investigate and find out that the entire crew is dead except for um, Captain Tracy, who is on the surface. And there is a war going on between two factions, a savage race called the Yangs and a... Uh, Asian-looking race called the Combs, and it all goes, interestingly enough, through about the first half, where they find that the Combs live over a thousand years, and so Tracy believes that there's some kind of immunity, and therefore holds Kirk and McCoy and others prisoner in order to find the uh, serum to create this fountain of youth, and then uh, they'll be able to sell it back to the Federation. Uh, once again, this question about whether there's money there, and um, be able to write their own ticket. And that's kind of the uh, idea that Captain Ron Tracy has. He's gone nuts. Uh, okay, we can go this far maybe. But then once we find that there's no serum, that the people naturally live to be old, that uh, the infection that they had uh, didn't apply uh, once uh, they'd been on the planet's surface several hours in order to develop their own immunity to it. Uh, that would have made all of the death unnecessary. Uh, then they have to go to a whole different angle on the plot, that the Yangs have an American flag with 50 stars. They have a copy of the U.S. Constitution written in the same handwriting as uh, our own, and uh, no way to explain that. In fact, Spock says the uh, parallel is almost too close, except that I think that he shouldn't have said almost. It is too close. It's stupid. It uh, should have been stupid then. And I have no idea why they thought that they could get away with it, except, of course, that it was series television in the 60s, and there were only three channels, and so you had to watch something. But uh, this is what I would consider uh, the beginning of the end for uh, Star Trek as they go toward the end of the second series and into the third, where they've decided that all we have to do is just make Earth parallels, and uh, it's just such an interesting coincidence that the Yangs could be Yankees and the Combs could be communist and all that. Um, it's ridiculous. There's some good fight scenes in it. Uh, there is the Captain Gone Crazy, which kind of goes against Roddenberry's rule that you're not supposed to have any conflicts in Starfleet, and yet that seems to be all they ever have whenever they meet another Starfleet captain or a Starfleet admiral. Uh, but, you know, we uh, will let that pass for the moment. So that's the Omega Glory. I'm not going to waste your time with any more of the review. I didn't like it. And I don't think you would either, so I don't recommend watching it. Uh, the next one coming up, though, next week will be the um, Ultimate Computer, which is one of the best ones, and we'll talk about that next week. But uh, also stay tuned uh, for later this week. We'll have a review of Babylon 5 and then uh, the latest episode of Lower Decks. So until then, don't go far.